phone call to my attorney. When you calm down and relax, I you'll come back out. I want to get out of here! I'm You know what I'm Please get me out of jail tonight. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Another night in the streets, another night in this hair. I've been kicking the trip and the cops is me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out. I worked some drug enforcement, which was mostly in New Mexico. One day I just took a little trip. We came out here to Las Vegas. Patrol and corrections were both hiring. I have no interest to go to the street or at the patrol side. I absolutely love the jail side of it. So I put in an interest card for each of them, and uh, the corrections opening came first, so I took it. Now I've been here for nine years, and I've been a sergeant for one year. You get your phone calls after you, you make it through this process. Go see the nurse. Go talk to the nurse. She's quite upset at the moment. I'm not sure when she came in. What did she do? What is she here for? She heard uh, Battery domestic violence, of course so. Now she's not too excited about the fact that she has to come to jail. Ma'am, please, you're hurting my arm. Please oh, let go. Me. I can't I'll take your uh, belly chains off and I'll leave her down here in this time. There you go. Do not move until the door closes. When you calm down and you stop acting like this, then you'll get a chance to use the phone. Until then, you're going to sit there. She'll be a whole different person probably later on, especially if it was alcohol or drugs that's kind of caused her to do this. And with battery, uh, she's got to stay here for 12 hours because of, of the charge. After the 12 hours is up, she can bail herself out and she can get herself out of jail. Do you want to get another charge for destroying jail property? Do you want to charge? Then stop slamming. You haven't. No. She doesn't try to hurt herself. Uh, they'll go get the restraint chair. They'll call upstairs to a 2C. It's isolation to make sure they have a room for her for suicide watch. Slide her out. Keep her on the ground until you get the cuffs on her. 10-5-3. Let's do this. Ready? Okay. Right. Ready? Okay. Okay. Go for hands. Oh, I'm not doing nothing wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Stay down. Fall down. Put your hands on I just wanted to lay down. I wanted to lay down and go to sleep. I just wanted to lay down and go to sleep. I just wanted to lay down and get the bed and go to sleep. We're going to move you someplace else where you can go to sleep right now. Put her in the chair. I didn't do anything wrong. Watch your legs. Ow, 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 ow. Why are you stepping on me? I didn't do anything. Help. We're good. Please call my husband and let him know that I'm okay. For our safety, you're being placed up here. Bye, just call my husband and let him know I'm okay. Please, 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 please. So at this time, because of how combative she is, she already uh, punched an officer. And she has problems with the officers that are in there at the moment. Uh, we're going to leave her in the restraint chair, give her a little bit of time to calm down. Psych can come up and talk to her while she's in the chair. Uh, as soon as she calms down a little bit and doesn't have such an attitude, maybe in a half hour, an hour, we can come back up and check again and see. What am I being charged with? I don't know. Give me a chance and I'll find out. Go ahead. I put 20 okay. grand down. Okay. Okay. Let's go see the nurse. Come on. Now give me we gotta go to talk to the nurse. Have a seat. Have a seat. Good day. Por favor, senor. Gracias. What's your last name, sir? I need you to pay attention. Talk to the nurse. I need you to pay attention. What's your last name, sir? Oh, I need my heart medication. It's a white and blue. It's a, that's a very high blood pressure medication. And so's down my high blood. Pre 
treasure. Hey, calm down. I'll drag you off the seat and throw you across the room. If I don't get it, I'll die. You won't get it if you keep talking to me like that. Then fine. You'll kill me. And then you'll be in the news again. You stop get your yelling? medication no matter what, but it's not going to help you if you scream and yell. Now, you need to calm down and talk. Now, I'm on trial. my clonopin, two milligrams. I'm not going to fortify every single person. He's going to calm down and talk for a second. You're in jail. You're in jail. I'm in jail? Oh, so terrifying. Oh, I'm scared to death. Okay, come on. I'm 50 years old. You still ain't told me how much you drank tonight. I didn't drink nothing. You didn't drink nothing? You don't act like this. Is that driving a house? Stand up. Stand up. Give me my damn medication. One step at a time. Can I get my heart medication? Please? Hey, scoot down, scoot down. Why? Ask him how much he's had to drink tonight. All right, now I'll find out who's charging. Have a seat, have a seat. I know where my charges are. I will. See all these people? They're all waiting. You need to all right, yourself. all right, give me the heart medication. I will give it to you. It lowers the stream of blood that flows through my body. Just relax. I'll give you your heart medication. If you scream and yell, it's not going to help it, is it? Yes, and it's going to help. Just give it to me. I don't have to. I don't give a crap. I have a right. Now, give me my attorney on the phone. Stand up. Stand up. I'm done. Go. Got your medication for you. All I ask you to do is sit there and be quiet and wait for your turn. And you couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So am I. Enjoy. In you go. Mine are real Okay. Knees up on the bench. Put your knees on the bench. There you go. Stay just like that until you I want to talk to my attorney! Now! I get one phone call. John's my attorney. He's definitely intoxicated, so we give him a little chance to calm down. No! I want my one phone call to my attorney. When you calm down and relax, I you'll come back out. out of here! A medicine! You know what a medicine means? He'll tell you who you have to control. Handcuffed him, we're gonna put him in the chair. We're gonna take him to 2C. For his own, for his own protection. protection. Make sure he doesn't hurt himself. All right. I'm gonna bring you on out here and set you down inside this straight chair. Back up. Back up. We'll get him quick. Right there, have a seat. Put your hands down by your butt. Put your socks. They're in there, yeah. I haven't talked to my attorney. I haven't been able to call him over. That phone doesn't work in there. What am I charging? Control, 10 7 2. Why did the nurse say she was coming back? And an hour later, she still didn't come. No, I sat on the damn thing for an hour. It's only been about 15 minutes. Yeah, good old man. For his own safety, he has to sit up here for a little while. Give him an hour or so to calm down, then we'll come back and uh, talk to him again. In the five years that I've worked here at the facility, I've realized that dealing with female DUIs or intoxicated people are a lot harder than dealing with the males. They're way more talkative, whether it's telling us the laws or it's basically using profanities against us. Depending on how they interact with us, that's how we're going to treat them. May I ask, what are you doing? No, you stay seated. Like you are. I just asked you a question, so I ain't gonna run, I ain't gonna do nothing. Position that we need to, I just okay? wanna stay, I just wanna sit up straight. No, I ain't tripping. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to my husband to see me. That depends on Y'all just crazy. Y'all take that bass to another level. You know what I'm saying? Hold tight. Where am I gonna run to? I don't understand that. Where am I running to? Don't worry about it. I'm not worried Obviously about it. Obviously, it has nothing to do with you, because you don't have yes, to worry about it. Yes, it does. Stop. Hey, hey. Man. Face I'm forward. Straight, man. I just want to sit up straight, man. You're sitting up straight. I'm fine. Y'all ain't got to restrain me for nothing. I was you know, you're doing fine. You, do, you sit up, you ain't got to do nothing, huh, bro? Just keep your mouth quiet. I ain't going to do that. What happened? Collision. They stop. Mm -hmm. She takes off. And then, uh, an hour later, she almost runs into me. 
So I stop her and then after we... That's not what happened, man. And she's been chipping at you the whole time? Yeah. No, man. Keep your mouth quiet. I'm gonna keep it till you. I'm just telling you. Just, just let them do what they need to do, okay? And then you can make it through. Some right thumb prints from her. Born and raised in the projects. Y'all do a strange thing, guys. Okay, she's all yours. Thank you. Stay seated. Relax, relax. I feel like you ain't got to be standing like that. Hold up, homie. When was the last time you were here? I was never here. You've never been here? No. All right. I ain't no Orange County baby. I'm an L.A. baby. Welcome to Orange County. Yeah. She took off the hair. Uh-huh. Go ahead and stand up now. You can go to that door. L.A. baby. Listen. Listen. Are you going to be a problem for us? Nope. You need to keep quiet. Keep quiet. Quiet. I'm an LA baby. Quiet. I'm an LA baby. You understand? Yep, we're good. Yeah, I gotta be on my wrist, Mom. Stand right here. Spread your feet. The minute you do anything wrong, spread all over you. Spread your feet. Look straight ahead. Stay right there. Mm. Is there anything sharp on you that's gonna poke us? No. Do you have anything on you we need to know about? No. Anything in you we need to know about? No. Hell no. What other piercings do you have that we can't see? Just my nipples and my um, sure? my belly button. Okay, we're gonna have you take those piercings out. Y'all want to respect, but y'all can't respect. I don't understand that one. Keep your mouth shut. I'm not gonna tell you again either. <laughs> we don't care about your opinion, okay? No. I don't need to know. Oh, Keep your mouth no. shut. Okay. Because you can't follow the simple rules that we're giving you. This is what's come to. Get in here if you're going straight to your knees. Do you understand me? Get on your stomach. Okay, listen up. If you decide to make any stupid moves, you will be tased. You understand me? We gotta get the piercing out of her um, her chin, and she also has two uh, nipple rings. If you decided to cooperate, you wouldn't have gone this path. Don't move your feet. You gotta do that, man. You don't move. You gotta open them up with a medical device, man. That's funny, I just got it. Why don't you just shut your mouth? That would be a really good start for you. Face the ground. Everything's going on your property. There's no reason for us to keep your jewelry. We can roll her and then take the rest of it. Okay, you're not gonna move until you hear the door close behind you. Do you understand? If you do, you will be tased. You understand that? Okay, get up. Stand up, all the way up. The reason why she's in here right now is because she was a DUI. She had a hit and run, and after she did the hit and run, she kept driving along and she actually almost ran into a CHP officer. Can you get that out of your lip? Take that out. When an inmate is brought into the facility, typically there's a lot of emotions involved. They're upset, they're angry. Either way, our job is to make sure that we're prepared for whatever may come our way, personality, attitude-wise. Did you get it out? Okay. okay. I want you to put it underneath the door. Slide it through. So now, since we've done this, I've started the checklist for her. There's gonna be a report written on her stating that we brought her back here into the sobering cell. The reason why we brought her back here because of the fact that she's so intoxicated and she's belligerent that we can't, you know, she's so un uncooperative right now. So she's been placed in here. We started our, um, our checklist right here so that she d gets her checks done every half an hour to make sure that she's stable enough to get through the process later on when we do um, another check in a couple hours. Typically when an inmate's brought in with a type of attitude of arrogance, they think they're superior to us, we bring them back into the sobering cells, we walk away, we come back, we find them sitting there crying realizing where they're at and what's going on in their lives now. For the most part, individuals that come in after they've been patted down for contraband and weapons, they'll sit out here until they're either moved upstairs to a cell or they go see the judge. 
if, however, they are not in control of their emotions or they're too upset or they're just too intoxicated, then we bring them back to these cells. It's all for precautionary measures. Intox. Charles, right there. Black shorts, black shirt right there. He just keeps separate from his girl, who's in medical now. She's got green shirt on, blonde hair. They just constantly going after it. Okay. They, they jumped on his dad or something. I don't know. Wow. My understanding is their boyfriend and girlfriend. She got tied up with his situation between him and his dad, where he's trying to get some things out of his house, and got to him pushing shoving match. And uh, as a result, the dad called the cops, and uh, he's pretty distraught. He's here with us now, so we'll see how he does out there. Remember what we talked about, right? Sir. OK. We're going to get you into the nurse here in just a minute, buddy. His dad beats him, and his dad beat me. He needs to go to jail. One of your ankles? Have you ever been charged with that before, public intoxication? No. No? You still need to see the main health officer. Wow. Then after that, we cannot. I'm not going to hurt myself in here. That's stupid. I, right. I'll do it when I get out. OK. <clears throat> hey, buddy. How you doing? She's suicidal, so I have her on the bench. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, well, that's where she's going to stay until, you know, she gets released by the mental health officer. And then he is over there hyperventilating, grabbing his chest. So I don't know what's going to happen with him. Seven, eight, five. The girl's going to right? Yes. Charles, she's going to be just fine, OK? The counselor is going to move her to the medical section. So she's basically saying that it doesn't matter what you do here with the leg iron, I'm still going to do it when I get out, meaning she's going to commit suicide. So we cannot be letting her go on like that. How you doing, Charles? You doing all right? You look a lot better. Now he's back, and we're going to continue with his booking process. Have a seat out here, sir. I just went to go pick up some clothes for my dad. Step around his left. He slapped my girlfriend and then grabbed him by my girlfriend. My, my, I, I want to call her my wife because we're going to get married soon. You show it together, okay. And he grabbed her by her arms and threw her. Okay. And he threw me too. And his word against the laws, now I'm in jail. And I didn't touch anybody. Okay, well, you're not here for any assault, right? You're All here right. for DWI? No, I'm here for assault now. Oh, you're here for assault? Yeah. OK, OK. And, and I went to my probation office this morning, and she said, just don't get in trouble with your ass. I'm going to put you on minimum, because I can tell you're a good person. Exactly, exactly. And they, they said that I didn't touch my dad. They, put, they said I, they said. I, well, all that's going to come out in court in the future time, OK? You, you might be concerning yourself with nothing. He's been beating me, and beating me since, since you were small. Years old, OK. Brother. All right, well, I'm sorry to hear all that. I'm sorry to hear all that. I've trying to be in jail for three months and, and, and sit in a cell. I've been, I'm, I've been three days is long enough, man. Well, you'll be talking to your attorney later on tonight. Hey, uh, were you drinking tonight? Uh, I, I, drink, I, drink, drink. I, drink, I drink a Budweiser today and I'm smoking me a water blunt, and that's it. OK. But other than that, my dad does cocaine. Your dad does cocaine? Yeah. You're going to talk to your attorney. You're going to talk to your attorney? Let him know all about that, OK? Thank you. All right, have a seat, sir. We'll be talking to you. We'll be calling you when we need you, all right? He's already telling me that he's on probation for a DUI, but not only did he say he's been drinking, he's also doing marijuana, which here, ago, here again, it's probably influencing his decision-making process for tonight, for whatever happened. Stand still for me. I can face up to three months because I just got a DWI. Like I said, you're not convicted of anything, man. You just get bonded out, get you a lawyer. You'll be all right. Did you need to make a free phone call? If you need to make one, you have to make it now. I know, but. I don't know. I'm supposed to call my, fam my family. My I don't dad know. Just if you want to make a girl. call, you can at this point. Hey, Charles. Hey, Charles. Hey, Charles. This way? Yes, ma'am. 
I am escorting her to our medical section where she's going to stay until she's evaluated a little further. Once you're here under full suicide precautions, they're placed in a cell. Basically, they'll take off all their belongings because they can tear material from their clothing and tie it around their neck and choke themselves. We'll give them a hospital gown. They'll have no mattress, no blanket, and we'll have someone doing 24-hour visuals to make sure that she's not doing anything to harm herself in any way. I recognize a little stress as we're coming into the unit. Have you been have you been in a cell before? Yes, You've been in here before? Three days and I can't I can't I can't do anything a lot. I just can't do it. Okay, well you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to step in there, sir. Step in there, sir. This one's different than the other one. This one's bigger. This one is set up for handicaps. So this one'll be a little bit better for you, more spacious, and you actually have some AC, okay, so you can get some like some fresh air kind of thing, okay? Have you ever taken relaxation techniques? Stretching. That's the best way to deal with the situation, okay? Relax yourself, try to get you some sleep. We'll be waking you up via this speaker here to, to go see the judge, all right? It's gonna happen, man. You're gonna be telling us to take a flying leap, okay? We're gonna come get you every single time we need you, all right? All right, good luck to you. Some situations, they just tug at your heart sometimes because you wish you could do more. Like this guy here, he's young, he has a whole future ahead of him, yet it's already looking as good, I guess, to be in the criminal justice system. Hopefully, uh, things go good for him here and uh, he can get out of here and continue with his bond or his probation officer and live life to his fullest and see what he can do when he gets out. working down here in booking because every day it's a little bit different so it's not stagnant you're not doing the same thing day after day and and every day is different there's different people coming in different situations you have the people that come in high and upset and they'll run their mouth you know they just want to push your buttons see if they can't get a rise out of you and um, that time that's when you just have to take a deep breath and and uh, not let them get to you Is it your wedding night? So you're out drinking tonight? Ma'am, is it your wedding night? Did you get married today? I don't have a statement to make. You don't have a statement? Until I have a turn. Okay. You. Keep your feet spread. Are you filling me up? I'm patting I'm you down. a little sexually harassed. Ma'am? Just a little. I'm just patting you down. Just All a right? Go ahead and walk third row all the way across to see the nurse. Because she came in for a DUI liquor. She had driven up in a uh, blue pickup truck. The supervisor of parking called us over because she was being verbally abusive to the uh, toll collector. And um, prior to our arrival, she had tried to switch. Um, seats with the passenger. She actually did switch seats with the passenger and um, did a field sobriety test on her. She failed. Thank you. Okay. Do you have any medical problems we need to know about? Anxiety? You'll have to talk to my doctor about that. You don't know what you have? You'll have to talk to my doctor about that. Answers, questions. Do you take medication for anything? You'll have to talk to my doctor about that. Okay, she refuses. She's still pretty drunk. Don't with me. Hey. I'm not that drunk. Yeah. Don't try to with me. Yeah, man, I'm having a mood swing. You're very, very, no, I'm very angry. Talking what have yeah, I said to you? I asked you if you were, it was your wedding day or if you were at a can Christmas party. I can't. You can't. I can't. Then she don't here. leave me. We're going to take her back to the side cell. You seem to be trembling, holding on to my arm. No, I'm not trembling. Oh, you are? No, I'm not. Um, it should be. Okay. Let's take her back. Um, we're going to take her to a side cell. 
Oh, you know what? You just want to hurt me? <laughs> you better do a lot more than that. Ma'am, ma'am, we're not here to hurt you. Oh, obviously you're here to hurt me because you are twisting my arm. All right, stop right here. Spread what? your feet. Spread your feet out. What? Is it? What? Better be a girl. Is that a guy? Are you putting me in a cell with a guy? No, ma'am. They're no, lovers. Females, ma All right, listen up, ma'am. You're going to put me in with some lovers? Spread what? your feet. Are you serious? Are you really going to be running your mouth like that before you go into the cell with them for a few hours, ma'am? Ma'am, ma you need to stop running your mouth. <laughs> Straight back, ma'am. Do not move till you hear the door shut, otherwise we're coming back in here. All right, I'll check. So she'll just sit in there and probably tell yeah. at least tomorrow morning. Then maybe if she can uh, control her attitude and her language, then we'll wrap it up and we'll put her through the rest of the booking process. We'll get him. Um, sir, face the wall. Oh, they found drugs. Inside pocket. They're lactose pills. <laughs> I'm allergic to lactose. Not angry tonight, sir? <laughs> no, you guys cracked me up. He's um, DUI with accident. So what's going on with him? It started out with another officer working another accident and heard a screech. Our suspect was driving a Super Duty truck, so really large. Um, went head on with the other truck. I take him off to the side to do the field sobriety test. He failed that pretty miserably. And you can see where the windshield cracked outward and there's hair and blood in the windshield, which basically says he's not wearing a seatbelt. So he's actually really lucky he lived, but the guy on the other truck is who we're waiting to see the status on. He was transported to UMC trauma. This guy's also got a prior DUI. What'd you hit? Somebody hit me. Okay. And, uh, I don't know. I didn't have my seatbelt on. So you said another vehicle hit you? What vehicle was that? Do you know what kind of vehicle it was? Like it was like a white pickup. Jumped over the curb and hit me. I, I tried to go left. I leaned right. I guess you're lucky to be alive. Thank you, Stephen. I love these guys. I like it. I like it. That I can understand. Right. Have a seat in the blue chair. His whole story was that the other car jumped the median and slammed into his truck, but it's exactly what he had done. Whatever. Oh, so you have an altered perception of the accident. Mm -hmm. You can prove it in court, and you can run your mouth. OK, we saw another, another officer was out actually on another accident and saw the accident take place. Mm -hmm. Eyewitness, nice. Yeah, he is. You're going to hit me while you were traveling eastbound in westbound lane. <laughs> yeah, right. So he might have hit you. Yeah. I just pulled out a parking structure and I'm on the west side of Whatever. But he only had one beer. And the pills. Yeah. yeah. Check those pills out. They're lactose pills. I'm allergic to milk and cheese. All right, thank you for your cooperation, sir. OK, stand up. <laughs> sir, we're going this way. Walk straight this way. Here, I'll, I'll help you find Thanks. your way. That's nice of you. Sweet lady. To the left, then to your immediate right. And necklace. All right, sir, you need to remain standing against the wall here till you get the door closed behind you. Okay. It's just sad. He came out with scratches on his face, and the other person's in the hospital. The drunk person always comes out better than the sober person. constantly have to be on our toes. We don't know what kind of individuals walk through that door. We see people come through the door, they're happy, cheery, one minute, next minute they just snap. So tell them that they focus their aggressions on the police officers because they're the ones that arrested them. Uh, once we start patting them down, if they'd start turning on us, then we'll place them in an isolation cell until they become cooperative and non-combative. 
Step back about a foot. You got anything sharp on you? <laughs> Been in the hospital the last 24 hours? No, I didn't do it. You're diabetic? I got a learning disorder. Are you suicidal? No. Well, sometimes. Are you suicidal now at this point? No, I want to die. Because yeah. I didn't do anything. You want to die because you didn't do anything? My old lady is, is accusing me after I need to ask you these questions. I need, need your response. Need to listen to his questions. Okay. I'm going to take your cuffs off. I want you to put your hands flat on the counter. All right. I will do so. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I Take your jacket off. Pass me your jacket. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Keep peeling down to one layer of clothing. I didn't do anything. Have a seat, sir. Okay, here, Terry, look at me. Here's for your keys. That's the one I got. Exactly. And here's your identification. So go ahead and put an, sign it or put an X there, whatever you can do. Well, see, you're signing it just fine. I didn't do anything. That's what I've been trying to just sign your tell name. you and the officers. That has nothing she to do with slapped me, though. Terry, she, look at that red Terry, bar. Terry, need to focus. She focus. abused me. Grab that stuff there. Right over here. Have a seat there. No. Oh, he's extremely agitated. He's probably intoxicated, too. He's come here on a salt floor domestic. He struck his significant other on his wife or his girlfriend, but he's extremely agitated. He's just not going to listen to what we got to tell him. I don't know you. I didn't hit her, so leave me alone. Yeah, I know she was upset, but she didn't have to get me arrested. No, your wife is the most beautiful person in the world. Your wife, right. you like her or not? Yeah, right. Do you like her or not? Right. Keep right, she is. You treat her like a queen. Yeah, I treat her like gold, and she still treats me like hey, Let's hold it down. He'll probably stay with us the rest of the night. It's too late for him to bail. So he'll go to court tomorrow, and they'll determine what's going to happen to him. Thank you. <laughs> we got an uncooperative individual coming in. He's supposed to be a spitter. So uh, see what kind of demeanor he's got and deal with him accordingly. Hi, 1234. Dealt with them before. He's spitting. He tried to kick our cage out. When we were getting oh. here. His feet are on the driver's side. Back. He's been spitting all over the place. Heads up. You gonna spit on us? No, no. I just spit him. No, I, no. I... Yo, why don't you slide out this way? Your feet are this way, man. Hey. All right. Man, dude, these fools. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. Hey, no, can they kill me? Wait, no. Oh, that. Well, that. That's. Prove me, you ain't gonna spit. We'll take that thing off. I'm not gonna, we're gonna spit. But look, he's hella fat. I want him to hit you. gotta find out. Yeah. Yeah, are you a child or are you just a child? Are you a fast kid or are you hurt? You don't have anything sharp on you, do you? Hmm, that, no. All right. Except you, you're have awfully you, sharp. Have you been hey, in the hospital? He already searched me already. Oh, yes, yeah, I guess. We have to. That's right. Okay, your hand's going to go on the counter. Hey, I'm never gonna make hey listen up. Make okay, Pay listen, attention. Listen up. Your hands are going on the counter, right? Yes, there's some in reception. Don't you do this every day like a thousand times? Yes. Oh, that's white hey, You're going to be a thousand and one, right? As long as you're cool, everything is going to be all right. Okay, then you're not going to make it on the force, dude. You take this outer jacket off. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Take it off. But no, don't, you don't, take it off. Oh, you got to let me take off my own. Yep. Well, I'm, take, I'm not going to take the check. Bro. Hey, you need to leave that on. I'm not going to spit, dude. I was just having movies. I'm not going to spit on you. Put it on until we tell you to take well, it Well, I'm not going to take the... Uh, uh, I would look ridiculous with a hood on and no jacket on. Here, take it off like that. This is too... Jack, you got to be careful with... Here, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's tall on me. I don't think you got a button. I never wear okay. it before. Hold on, hold on. If you would let me... I'm not Phillips. I'm not going to do nothing, dude. I'm not. Just relax. I'm, what, how am I going to relax and stand up at the same time? I'm not going to do nothing. But well, relax, dude. You sound like rapist like this me off the that's me on the way here if you would let me i'm gonna be if you don't beat my ass i'm gonna be very listen, upset listen to me what i don't want to make this any harder than you do, okay i want to get you through this nice and simple it's supposed to so not. quit flipping around moving your hands and being a problem all you gotta I didn't, do is listen listen I didn't do keep your mouth shut well i gotta breathe out my mouth because my nose all congested i got asthma i've been outside i've been outside all day in this cold i'm like this oh oh i'm coming come on that's how you gotta do it, bro. That's how you like, put you. 
What you guys do about police protection? What are you gonna do? I'm out. Whoa, whoa. Hello. Hello. I dicked me again. Yeah, I didn't okay. you kick me again. I didn't, Phillips, I didn't mean you, dog. I didn't mean to. Okay, sick man, put him face down. Oh, thank you. you know that. Oh, I can't, I hurt you. Yeah, let go. Okay. Oh, oh, face down, we go. Face up. Oh, it's this You gotta get your boots off. Okay. Why do you think my boots is gonna be cold? Then why are you just searching your hand down and drug at it? I can help you get these boots off. Right? So what you, I mean, you being really nice and, and I'm gonna Okay, whatever well. your name is, we're gonna leave. Oh. And if you get up, we're gonna tase you. Okay. Your stomach, you hand underneath so your stomach. The door. Other one. <laughs> yeah, keep your feet up so you don't get them closing the door. Damn, you guys are getting a job. We got that nursery school. <laughs> Sit down. You get up for a zap it. Okay, good call. Don't zap me. Don't zap me. Don't zap me. Okay. <laughs> Sound like he's sucking helium. <laughs> he was arrested for, he beat up his mom earlier today in the afternoon, and he was still, he was trying to get back in his house today, so uh, one of the neighbors called, saw him lurking out there, so we went back there and arrested him. He probably won't get out of the isolation cells until sometime in the morning, and then uh, he'll probably go to court. I've worked for the Sheriff's Department for going on seven years now. I work at intake where we process prisoners. I work at various jobs down there. I, I do transport. I do the actual booking in of the prisoners where I pat them down and take their property from them, stick it in a bag, give it to the property personnel. Of course. Yes, sir. Right down the center. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, take a Take these handcuffs off. Stop right there, man. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Come on. What What's your it? name? My name's Ken. Yes, sir. That's my rights, bro. Hey, why don't you represent your right to remain silent? Let's yeah, do that one. I am remaining. I bet you won't do that one, will you? Can I give you some bathroom? Sir, you have to be patted down before you get to go. Let's get it, then. We're going at it. We're getting her done. Don't you worry about it. How many pair of pants you got on? Two. Two? Eh? Did two I pairs lie? of pants? Did I lie? I'm asking you, do you have two pairs of pants I on? Said, yeah, did I lie? You might need to quit drinking, man. You might need to quit thinking. Yeah, I already know the Leave them out of your pockets. I already know the drill, man. Take your jacket off, first one. Come on, It's military, dog. Take Grab your boots. Put them in a special bag for me? Yeah, because you're a special K. Right over there, I have a seat in the blue benches. All right. Can I use the bathroom? Thank you, sir. Taking him back in the back. We could try to get him fingerprinted and photoed here in a little bit. What? We just want to get him through the process. That's why we try to keep him down here as long as we can. Sir, do you have any serious medical problems? Sure. Hey. Thanks. All right. Hold on. Yes. You do? What's your name? Bob. Bobby? Is your name Bobby? Yes. What's your serious medical problem? Any beer, wine, or alcohol today? Yes. How much, sir? Too much. How much is too much to you? Too much to me is five. How much is too much to you? Uh, Ten. Fifteen. 15 beers? 20. 20 beers. All right. Do you use street drugs? Yes. What do you use? Heroin and uh, methamphetamine. Heroin? Have you swallowed any heroin in the last 24 hours? Yes. You have swallowed drugs? Yes. How much have you swallowed? Um, we have a possible ingestion of heroin. Didn't swallow any drugs, not on scene. How many? Ten, Ten or fifteen cc's of what? Heroin? Or, uh, SO5. You swallowed the drug? Yes. Why did you swallow it? Because I had no choice. You had no choice? Well, what do you mean by that? I had no choice. Let's put him over here. Walk with us, man. Fire department was on scene. They took the file. They said everything is good. Sure, they would. 
Yeah. Lean over this, right here. Just lean over. Lean over this. There you go. Lean How you feeling? We'll stay there. Don't get over. And tell him not saying until we leave. So you better tell us now. No, we already did. He already said he swallowed 10 to 15 cc's of a uh, hair romp. Oh, he knew had, exactly. a, had a guy. Could, That's I what he said. I asked him why he did it, and he goes, "I had no choice." I had a guy on 22. His arm, you could tell, it was broken right at the forearm. He goes, "Man, they, they told me it would delay in my court date if I went to the hospital." <laughs> said he ingested a lot of hair romp. He said 10 to 15 cc's of hair romp. Sit up. Can you take it like that? Let me see his face. Hey, buddy. It's red, because he's been hand sitting down. Sit up. Sit up. Let me see your face. When did you swallow it? We need to call 911. Can you be laid down? Yep. Lay down? Yeah. Hey, when you call up the medical, and give me more nurses. Says he swallowed 10 to 15 cc's of heroin today. I asked him why he swallowed it. He said he had no choice. I don't think it's a suicide attempt. It's just, I think he was getting pulled over and had nowhere to put it, so he swallowed it. This is what the outcome is when you swallow drugs. What time did you swallow the crack or the hair on? Okay. You didn't swallow hair on a crack? Nobody told you to get yeah, up. you need to lay down until the squad gets here. Have you done any other drugs today? What? Today you did? Yeah. How much oxycontin did you do? Thirty. Did you shoot it up or did you take it orally? Fire it. What does that mean? Fire it. When you fire it. What does that mean? Huh? What does that mean when you fire it? Do you swallow it or you shoot it up, snort I it? Fire it. <laughs> So you did that and heroin and you got drunk. Mm. What's going on? How are you? You're going, did this guy really take it? He says he did. Oh, he says he said he said he swallowed it. Fresh dirt mine. He was oh. dear for soil economy. He's passed out in the yard. Brought him down for a warrant. He's very intoxicated. Seen engine 24 really was on scene. Yeah. <laughs> Engine 24 was on scene. Says his vital signs were normal on the scene up there. I bring him down here. They ask him if he swallowed anything. He said, he I says, swallowed heroin. Of course. And then he went and limp and kind of. Okay. okay. You know. It's He's, pretty much your call. He's intoxicated. Do you want us to take him to the hospital? Oh, yeah. Well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Sometimes you know, people know how to the, work the system, knowing that if they come in and claim this and can play along with the symptoms, they can uh, get a little bit of extra time out of jail and just get up to a UC for a, for a few hours for treatment. Most of the time, they end up sending them back. Now this guy is saying he didn't swallow anything. He shot up Oxycontin. But he didn't, but he didn't swallow him. We'll just take him to UC, get him checked out, and maybe put another charge on for obstructing. Did you swallow heroin, yes or no? How much you swallowed? I just talked to him now and said he did swallow heroin. He doesn't know because he swallowed something. He don't know what he did. He's all over. I got an Oscar nomination here. Our nurse evaluated him. His vitals were good. More than not, is uh, people that come in here quite frequently know uh, know what to do. I'm not saying that he's lying or that he's not having any kind of medical issues, but um, we're taking him up to the hospital for precautionary measures. I'll be back. The door's always open. As a corrections deputy, this job is much different than being a road cop. We're with the inmates for an extended period of time. You know, we could have people up to two, three years here. You need to be able to be a lot better, I believe, with dealing with people. You need to cooperate, sir, OK? It's all about cooperation. A lot of times when I'm joking around with the inmates, it seems to calm their nerves and generally get them to laugh and be able to go through the process better. Hey there. How you doing? Well, it's a site. I'm looking for 
Depending on what you do with that blue rubber glove, I guess. <laughs> well, well we're gonna do that crazy eye thing again. What crazy eye? Are you gonna take off your coat there, Dad? Is my partner. Is there any jewelry on anywhere? So, have you been diagnosed with a mental illness? Um, it's a bad illusion, but... What uh, the was that? I didn't hear that. Uh, they said bad illusions. Dr. Mullen said a uh, bad illusion. Yeah, hey, you're putting your shoe on the wrong, on the wrong way. Can I have an estimate of what time of... About I'm four ready. hours you'll be with us. Unless you're bad. All right, come on over. I have a seat right there. You very soon, very soon. Don't touch my Just settle down. No, I don't want to settle down. Okay. I, need, I want to go to the hospital. If you don't settle down, it just gets worse for you. Okay, okay fine. Basically what we did was we just got everything off of him, all of his property, and he continued to be disruptive, so we left the handcuffs on him. Diabetic? He's hurting me with these cuffs. Can you take them off? Yeah, we're going to go right I'm down. in your joint. We're going to go right Take them off. Okay. I'm not going to kneel down. I'm not going to kneel down. You want the cuffs off? If you want the cuffs off, kneel down. I'm not going to kneel down. Dude, I'm damn it, everybody did. You like it, don't you? You hurt me. You got to have it on you. Did you get it off? Good job. Perfect. Stay just right there. Okay. Okay. Good. Back up. Can I get up now? Appears to uh, have a little mental problems. Would be my guess. What do you need? What? I'd like to uh, have some uh, psychiatric help. Okay. Well, we can take you out of here in a little while. You can talk to the medical and let them know your concerns, and they'll get somebody to talk to you. And when would you do that? I'll do it here in a few minutes. How long is that? A few minutes. How long is a few minutes? I don't know. I'm asking you. This I told you I'll do it in a few minutes. <laughs> I said that I want to talk to my psychiatrist. I remember you and said that. I want to talk to the mayor. Okay. Okay. Let's let's. Are we clear? Let's get you to see medical first, who can authorize the conversation with your psychiatrist. Yeah, I'm not a medical professional. I'm a deputy. Oh really? Yeah, that's what the star means. Yeah, I'm a brass. You should be. You're a punk. That's your opinion. Yak, 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 you don't talk back, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love you. Yeah. The way he's behaving, he's probably gonna stay with us for a while. You know, in here it's all it's all behavior based, so you got a good attitude, you'll do fine. If you got a bad attitude, you're gonna have a little tougher time. Stiff down to that last mat down there. Hello, Steven. Hello. My name's David. I'm the I'm the nurse here. What's your medical pro problem? I have post traumatic stress disorder. Uh huh. What do you What do you take for it? I take uh, I I I take uh, uh, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Have Have you taken your doses for today? No. Today, why? I was arrested. I be in here. No. That's why I would just have sit you down. Been I would as a child? sit. I would sit down have you ever and be quiet. Been hurt as a child? That is not. That doesn't matter. I, I am assessing. Me, you locked me up. Put shackles on my hands. I did. This is Nazi Germany. Why don't you settle down long enough for you to, to be released? I don't have to. You don't. I don't have 
Yeah. You don't need your medicine right now. Oh my doctor, this is Nazi Germany. He's angry, as you can tell. His biggest deal is post-traumatic stress dis disorder. Now, do you think we'll he's coming down off something, or if he's maybe coming like drunk, no, or think, is it? You think it's a psych issue? I think it's a psych issue. He's a person from the medications that he quoted as a person that has trouble con con controlling his temper. So that's that's going to be it. He's going to be angry until he he gets out. Deputy in the jail, responsibilities including anything from, uh, you know, working court security to the main grand lobby to uh, housing units, intaking hot arrests, and uh, overall runnings of the jail. The guy coming in, faked a seizure, went to St. B's, and I guess he's really intoxicated. Okay. Ready to go? Yes, please. You got a really got a warrant. Brother can't do it. He's super drunk. Mm -hmm. And then. He mysteriously has a seizure in my car, which he announces by saying, I'm having a While seizure. Wow, you right. What's his name? A lot of fun. Chip or Charles? Or Charles. Um, let's see how he is. Chip, he's talked to me. Uh, oh, he's yeah. laying down. The whole time. No, we are most interested in having you cooperate and on your own power, get out of the car. So let's uh, let's work well, towards that. Very sick. Okay. I can't mm -hmm. even move. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slide. You understand? Out. Okay. Here we go. We're uh, yeah, you're gonna go ahead. You know what? We're going against, not against. Here we go. There you go. There you go. Now, I can't even feel my arms. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah, feel nothing. Thank you. you. Now that works. Works for me, guys. Let's do it. Yep. Yeah. Let's just throw me in the Right here. You got anything on you? Do you have anything on you that you're hiding? Why don't you try getting stabbed once and spend four and a half months in coma or getting shot? Yeah, you'll understand then. I'm just a body of my... Well, sir, you're refusing to walk, so we don't really I have a choice to do walk. this. Okay, do you have another suggestion of patting you down? I have a suggestion put me in a wheelchair. Poke their... Go ahead, just rip me up some more. That's all right, I got a morning still. It happens to you. Great, oh, this is lovely. Yeah, I need a blanket. Yeah, it's just mainly by the sewer. Thanks a lot, guys. I need something to I understand eat. that, okay? I'm listening to you. Go ahead and just Ryan, put it up by your head and keep it there. I just, I wish arm? the best yeah. for you. God bless you. You are so sweet. Chip, can you hear me? Okay, good. I'm glad you can hear me. Listen, buddy, I have a citation, okay? You're under arrest on the warrant. You're being lodged on the warrant. But due to the seizure incident, okay, and the fact that the paramedic and the doctor do not believe you had seizures, I'm citing you for initiating a false report. You understand? Okay, I understand. Give it to my lawyer. Okay. Just um, put it in the toilet. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, it's hypoglycemic, he says. He wants something to eat. He's demanding to see medical. He's demanding a sandwich, but he won't even let me get a sentence out. Won't even let me tell him what my expectations of him are or what we're going to do. I think he's just too intoxicated. Yeah, I understand? I need something to eat now. You want me to die? No, I don't want you to die. I want you to stop kicking the door. I want you to stop kicking the door. Stop hitting the door. I don't work real good with now, okay? Yeah, you sure. I don't do real good with demands. This holding cell is not the only option we've got, okay? Stop. All right. I need something to eat now. Here we got two more disruptors coming in. Yeah, two more. He's coming in for disorderly conduct. He's intoxicated, uncooperative. They want to have the chair ready, so he's. That would mean that he's pretty uncooperative. We're going to get that ready. Okay. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. All right, now listen to me. Kill me. Do you do what these deputies tell you to do, or are you going to get tased? You understand me? Oh, do you tased me? Do you understand me? What? Are you going to tase me? Go and put your feet outside the door. All right, go and stand up. Here we go. 
your Lift your left foot up. Lift your foot up out of the out of the hobble. There you there go. There you go. Then walk walk forward. There you go. Okay. Let's go. Are like against the um totally against the law. Face the wall, man. Make me. You don't want to get kill me. Kill me. Come with me. Kill Face me. the wall. Kill me then. Then kill me. Chill out, dude. This is only making it worse. Oh, look at you. You're only making it worse. Stop moving. Stop resisting. Look at that. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Waste, waste salt first. Someone get a knee in there. Ouch, there ouch. Tuesday's tip, though. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. To Stop resisting. Oh, Stop dude, resisting. The dude has got his knee in my crotch. Stop resisting. It's because you're kicking. You stopped kicking, they stop leaning on you. Oh, so it's crotch thing, yeah. huh? Uh, <laughs> I want child abuse. So what do you do? I'm a nurse. I'm here to make sure you're safe and healthy. Really? Yep, that's why I'm here. So what's her name? much just disorderly conduct so when he uh, when he settles down we'll get him out of the chair we'll get him and see medical and uh, most likely he's not gonna be here very long we'll, we'll uh, gonna release him in the morning so he just needs to sober up and settle down a little bit County Sheriff's Department, Second Shift Intake, Corrections Division. Jail's located right downtown Cincinnati, so we get a lot of different people from all around, different aspects. We get drugs, theft, soliciting, anything you think of. The thing about being where we're at down in intake is they hide needles everywhere. They'll tape them to their arms, they'll hide them in their socks. And to me, that's one of the biggest fears is getting stuck by a needle. Up here, okay. Who'd you assault? Oh, a boy that was with my friend who was, was running his mouth. Stand between yellow prints, feet together. Oh. Feet together. Is that what your charge is, assault? That's yeah. all it is, assault. This guy came in, looks like for assault. You're saying racial slurs? Yeah, it was, I called him little boy. And I, that's what he's saying, it was what racial slurs. Uh, I'm going to have a little uh, talk with my friend because he's, he, uh, He's a uh, little confused with Rachel slurs because he's, he takes medicine too and he's easily manipulated. What well, medicine does he take? How old is he? He was 12. 12? He was old. running, a 26 year old running with a 12 year old because he was uh, pitying him because he was going to go get him a video game or something like that. And he had been living with his grandma there for a while. Well, what kind of assault did you, did you hit? I did, er, I, he swung on me and I pushed him back. The 12 year old swung on you? Yes, twice. And then I just was it a big twelve year old? He's pretty. Uh, pretty big. He's uh, he's about my he's about my height. Hey, but I'm gonna take these off and your hands right. out of your pockets. You That's understand? Fine. Well, he's half your age. You're I know. 25. And he's he's uh, he's a regular troublemaker around our neighborhood. 
and I just so what you're I, saying I, is the 12 year old had it coming. I was just letting you know. So what what what? Take your jacket off. So that's what started. You called him little boy. Yeah, pretty much. And he has uh, issues. Is he black or white? Medicine. He's he's got violent issues. He brands airplanes. Is he black or white? Well, I mean, it is a racial slur. Well, I didn't see it as a racial slur. I was just calling it like it was. I mean, trying to get out on bail. Well, as of right now, you don't have a bond, but you got to talk to pretrial. They set the bonds. We'll take all your personal information, key it in, then you can use the phones. Grab your shoes and socks. Yes, garbage bags. Right, no. Am I not putting them back on? Yeah, yeah go ahead and put them on. There. Grab your coat. No, no, no. No? Okay, keep it right. Keeping the coat? All right. So, have a seat right I'll just tell her that she's going to have to be on standby to pick me up. All right. Well, good luck to you. All right? All right. What's your story? Where you work at? <laughs> Water restoration company. Where? Water restoration. I'm away to a meeting. Have you done it before or what? Yeah, it's happened before. Is this like a compulsive like thing or? No, it's not compulsive. It's the last time. I mean, we don't get too many people coming in here in a suit. Yeah, That's all I'm asking. I know. What are you trying to steal on that? Uh, it was equipment. Equipment? Yeah. So you didn't know they have uh, sensor tags on them and stuff? Or? They had sensor tags. Sensor tag didn't go Did off. Didn't? Yeah. All right, so how'd you get how'd you get caught? I might be asking. I came back in. You came back in? Mm-hmm. By the Xbox. It was for an Xbox. OK, uh, now, now accessories you... and then came back in to buy the Xbox. Ah, so how they know you, you stole the accessories? Camera. So you went back to the scene of the crime to get more. You weren't nervous going back in? Yeah. They stopped you uh, after you were paying for the Xbox, or I know. as you were paying? And they stopped you in line? I uh, actually went and walked out the door. So I'm just closing on a house right now, so. Oh, really? My wallet at the lawyer's house. Closing on your house? Yeah. The house you bought or the house you sold? The house I'm buying. Really? You didn't steal that house, did you? Have your shoes? You married? Yep, 18 years. Does your wife know that? Nope. She don't know what happened? Nope. It's not going to be good either. Is that you going to call to pay for bail? Is that who I'm going to call right now? Yeah. Nah. Temptation was there, huh? What do you think your wife's going to say? Oh, God. I don't know. That's probably that she's done. That's more nervous than actually being in jail, ain't it? Yep. Having to tell her? Your yep. hands are in pockets for me. Oh, sorry. She's not waiting at the closing, is she? Nope. She doesn't have a clue where I'm at. All right, what you're going to do is grab your shoes and socks, grab both your jackets, grab your bag lunch and your juice, get your dinner, have a seat on the blue bench. You cannot use the phone until the lady on the end says you're good to use the phone. All right, man, good luck to you. Thank you. Bet you I can hear your wife from over here when you get on the phone. Thank you. We were called for a shoplifter. He walked out of the store with the merchandise hidden in his coat under his left arm, and they stopped him on the sidewalk. When they brought him back in, they had already seen him earlier. He came into the store, left, came back. And they knew he had taken other products, but they didn't witness him putting it in his coat. So when they brought him back in, they asked him where the other merchandise was. And at that time, he admitted that he had taken other stuff. So we had a consent to search form signed by him, and we located the property inside of his vehicle. And everything was recovered. So he's more nervous about calling his wife than his wife know than actually being in jail. Right. Which I don't blame him either. He's the best dressed prisoner I've had. married 18 years four kids got caught stealing an xbox so she's coming down to bond you out yeah hey, man, with the suit on. i had the money to bond myself out but 
They won't let me do it. So you called home, you told her you're an old, you got picked up for an old probation violation. <laughs> yeah. And she fell for it, I take it. What if she finds out the truth? Uh, I guess I'll find out here in a minute. You better not come back in here after you tell her either for domestic violence. <laughs> yeah, it's the system. <laughs> Doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home.